Okay, Trev 2323 here again. Just doing this really fast, kind of half ass. Uh, I had my tilapia thing right here. It's not really tilapia. I just had an uh, extra IBC tote. Normally last year I had a filter going and everything and I threw some tilapia in it this season to see if it was going to work. And the tilapia actually lived so far. Uh, but there was no filter on it. It was just an air, air, uh, air hose on it. So I started out trying to do an airlift water pump. It's flowing really good. This is just an old filter. I got in one of the videos. It's just gravel in the bottom like a little biological filter. And that's the amount of water I had coming out the airlift water pump. Let me lift it up. I hooked down an air hose into a half inch uh, on and off shelf, shelf. So just stuff I had along uh, around into a T. See the T at the bottom? And then I just shoved it to the bottom of the tote. And it's coming out fast, real fast. It's coming out really good. But what I don't like right now is since I already had this line cut for my last thing, it's everything's overflowing and overflowing all over the tank. So I'm thinking about, since it's just a regular bucket, right here, drilling a half inch hole, putting a half inch T in there and right back in the water so it'll recirculate that way. So that's what I'm gonna try. All right, so this is what came out to be. I just threw this together. I showed you how I hooked up the air hose to the bottom of this. It's just with a T and the air hose is in the side, not to this to the actual pipe right here okay now this right here you've seen everything was just overflowing constantly at the top of the bucket so i actually just drilled a three quarter inch hole to put a half inch fitting in there and on a t going down right there so i am getting aeration in the water now what i found out with this up here is i had just had this right here and it was bubbling up so much right here that water was still spilling out all over the place but if i moved it to the other side it's not spilling out as much. It is spilling out some, but not as much. So to hold it over to the side, I got a bungee cord holding it to the side and a bungee cord holding this down right here. And this is just half-assed makeshift so I can get some clarity in here, so I get some filtration. Now all this is is the bucket filter. If you go back, I got a bucket filter with gravel in here and I got some extra uh, like uh, fish filters that I'm gonna throw in here. But the only thing I really don't like about this is at nighttime, I can guarantee you with all that bubbling, this is going to be really loud. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it on overnight, but I'm going to leave it on right now. And this is just filtering out an IBC tote down there. So, but like I said, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of bubbles. So, and that is really, really, really loud. So that's a little airlift water pump and it's, it's really is cycling a lot of water per hour. So it's really doing a good job, but it's just bubbling too much at the top. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do about that. But for right now, I just wanted to show you what I did really fast. Now I got to get my butt inside and do what I really was supposed to do today. All right, bye. All right, this right here, I just want to show you how I got this silent, the, uh, the, uh, 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 airlift water pump. What I did is I put a bottle in it and I drilled one hole right here. And that hole is what's allowing the water to be released. And I drew like a bunch of holes, like an air stone in the bottle at the bottom of it. So all the air is coming out of here and then it's just bubbling up like a regular air stone now. So I just want to show you how I got that to the silent up there. Airlift water pump. I just threw this together right now and I uh, got to go inside now. Bye.